Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delivered a statement on the occasion of the International Day for Human Rights that will be celebrated on Saturday under the theme Stand for Someone's Rights. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that preserving the human rights of development and security should be among the priorities of the international community due to recurring developments of the world. He affirmed that the joint international action and mutual respect between countries will lead to improving the bad conditions of many countries and achieving sustainable development. His Royal Highness added that human rights were introduced by religions and international conventions and should be implemented for development, not for interfering in other countries' affairs. He affirmed that the values of coexistence, tolerance and equality are the pillars of Bahraini society, adding that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, set an example of justice, freedom of expression and the rule of law. He added that Bahrain's support for achieving comprehensive development at various dimensions include cultivating the culture of human rights in the education and media systems, the purpose of which is to build a stronger and modern society whereby everyone enjoys their rights within the framework of law and constitution. He stressed Bahrain's keenness in working with the international community to achieve international peace and development and to protect human rights in all regions. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain International Ironman Championship will start tomorrow with more than 1,200 participants. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa prepared for the event through allocating training sessions to ensure the success of the international championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed his technical and physical readiness to participate in the championship, adding that the participation comes under constant keenness on participating in local and international championships. He noted that the championship will be of high level with the international audience and participants. The championship will include two tournaments, one for which well-known international athletes will be competing and another one for amateurs. The triathlon of 70.3 km includes swimming for 1.9 km, biking for 90 km and running for 21 km from Four Seasons Hotel to the Bahrain International Circuit. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed joy in participating in the Ironman Triathlon, held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event coincides with Bahrain's National Day celebrations and the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne which is celebrated annually on December the 16th and 17th. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said, The championship's establishment reflects the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, in translating the vision of the wise leadership for organizing and hosting events in the kingdom, which enhances its reputation and positive image on the global sports map. His Highness added that Bahrain is proactive in organizing various international events and is capable of turning this event with 1,200 participants from various countries into a success. His Highness Sheikh Khaled also commended, commented on the children's race, which included the participation of his children, Sheikh Faisal and Sheikh Abdullah. The 500 meter race is held alongside the championship at the Bahrain International Circuit, home of the motorsports in the Middle East. He considered the integration of the women and children in the championship as a step in making the event complete and achieved the goal set by Sheikh Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Nasser, to reinforce the importance of a healthy sports lifestyle for society, giving them a chance to live a healthy life, which in return reflects on them giving their best and contribute to the development of the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
His Highness concluded by wishing good luck to all the participants in the championship. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Rajat Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the sixth horse race meeting was held this afternoon for the Cups of the Gulf Petrochemical Industries, the Arab Horse Establishment for Equestrian Services and Rajat Equestrian Club. The races were held at Rafa in Sakhir. A number of royal family members attended the race and sponsors as well as horse racing fans. Seven races took place and at the end of the races trophies were handed to the winners. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received a delegation from the House of Commons of Great Britain, led by Sir Hugh Sawyer. Present were the Deputy Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Adil bin Khalifa Al Fadl, and Public Security Chief Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan. The Minister briefed the delegation on the Ministry's efforts to maintain security and order and ensure the public safety of citizens and residents in light of the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He lauded Bahrain and the United Kingdom's keenness on reinforcing bilateral celebrations and cooperation in various security fields, including the exchange of expertise to protect against cybercrime. During the meeting, they reviewed the deep-rooted historic relations and cooperation between the two countries and issues of mutual interest. For his part, Sir Hugh Sawyer said that the participation of the British Prime Minister in the Gulf Summit, which was recently hosted in Bahrain, reflects the United Kingdom's keenness on developing and reinforcing its relations with the GCC countries. The Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf Al Jalahma, received the German Defense Minister Ursula Gerhard van der Leyen and her accompanying delegation who arrived in Bahrain on an official visit to participate in the 12th Manama Dialogue. Al Jalahma reviewed with the German minister the aspects of joint cooperation and coordination between the two countries. Also present were a number of Bahrain Defense Force senior officials. The Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf Al Jalahma, received the U.S. Defense Minister Ashton Carter and his accompanying delegation on their official visit to participate in the 12th session of the Manama Dialogue. Al Jalahma commended the deep rooted relations between the two friendly countries. Present were the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck, the Commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and Commander of the Fifth Fleet, Admiral Kevin Donegan and the U.S. military attaché to Bahrain, Colonel Stephen Vincent. 